it's Bargain Princess. First off, I really want to apologize for my voice because for some odd reason, over the weekend, I had lost my voice and I'm just now finally getting it back. So, hello, your girl loves to talk a lot. So this was very, very hard for me, but pardon the raspy, squeaky, and sometimes coughing here and there, but I'll try to be good for the video because that's annoying to watch somebody cough and like choke on a lung but with that being said I've been requested by Destiny and many others to come up with a spring and summer first date look so knowing me I came up with three very very affordable looks hello what do you expect I'm bargain princess <laughs> All three looks are super comfortable but stylish at the same time because you don't want to be on your first date with somebody you barely even know complaining about your feet hurting or your jeans too tight because mm, he'll just drop you, kick you to the curb. Now I know not everyone is going to agree on my outfit choices and I'm okay with that because we all have different styles and tastes but all I ask for is respect and constructive criticism and that's it. So enough with this little chit chat because I need a drink of water, I feel like I'm about to cough. But enough with the chit chat and let's get on with the looks. Okay, so here's outfit number one. As you can see, it's very girly and super comfortable at the same time. For the skirt, I bought this at Walmart for $5 and it was originally $16 from the Miley Cyrus and Max Azaria collection. As you can see, it comes with a black elastic waistband and a dark navy denim that comes to the middle of my thighs. Here's what the back looks like. So as you can see, it's not too short and you're not showing much leg, which is always good on a first date because, you know, you want to leave a little bit to the imagination. As for the shirt, as you can see, it's a nice snake print top. I got this at Walmart also for $4, which makes this whole entire outfit only $9. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love, love this outfit. As for the jewelry, I decided to just pair a silver and black detailed necklace, as you can see. I'm not too sure where this is from because I kind of stole it from my mom. So, shh. <laughs> as for the shoes, probably many of you are going to disagree with this, but like I said, I wanted to keep this whole entire outfit very comfortable and casual, yet stylish at the same time. So what I did was pair my old navy flip flops which I got for about $2.50 as you can see these are very dark bluish gray which I believe coordinates very well with the outfit but you can easily turn this whole entire outfit from day to night by pairing black patent leather heels instead and possibly a black patent leather clutch and possibly just smoke up the eye. Okay, so now on to outfit number two. As you can see, it's a lot girlier than the first look just because it's a dress and with the floral neckline, which is so hot this spring and summer season. I bought this dress for $15, which was originally $19.99 at Marshalls. The dress comes with pockets, which is my fave. I love a dress that comes with pockets. And it also comes with the elastic waistband which you can easily pair this dress with the belt as well and for my main accessory my big huge accessory this is why I'm not wearing a belt is this gorgeous gorgeous bag right here bag. as you can see it has a bunch of different colored florals which in my opinion works very very well with this very girly floral dress as for the other accessories I'm wearing two bangles which I'm not really sure where these came from because these are also my mother's as well and for the earrings I'm wearing these wooden hoop earrings which I got I believe at rainbows for five dollars as for the shoes I decided to pair my Kenneth Cole reaction pumps which my mom bought me these for graduation at Marshall's for $39.99 which in my opinion makes this casual dress a little bit more dressier but you can easily if you're not too comfortable walking in heels I believe these are about three, three and a half inches high. You can easily wear flip flops or gladiator sandals instead. Okay, so here's the last and final look, look number three. As you can see, this look is a little bit more mature and a little bit more sexier than the first two looks. So like I mentioned in the first look, you don't, 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 don't want to show too much skin on any first date. Like I said, it's better to leave that to the imagination. 
So for this look, I paired a somewhat dressy top with a gorgeous beaded neckline and a pair of plain dark denim skinny jeans. I bought this shirt from Pay Half for only $14 and the jeans came from Forever 21 about, I want to say six months ago, but Forever 21 always rotates their merchandise and you'll find easily a pair of denim jeans for under $10. That's where I got these, Forever 21 for about $9.50. However, if you're not really feeling the jeans for the spring and summer, you can easily wear a skirt. You know, the first skirt that I showed you in the beginning of the video. You can also wear shorts or even capris. As for the shoes and the accessories, I paired this look with the chandelier brown earrings just to complement the beading in the shirt. And I also paired the shirt or this outfit with this gorgeous ring that I got at Forever 21. And for the shoes, it's the same exact ones from look number two. As for my handbag, my mom bought me this quite a long time ago for Christmas. And as you can see, it's just a brown leather handbag, which I believe she got from Aldo. And that's it! I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Tell me which outfit you like best in the comments down below or what you would wear differently if you didn't like my outfit. I look forward to reading them all and I'll talk to you later. Bye!